Hello happy people, welcome to my channel. Yesterday we took you around Wangjing, the Korea town of Beijing. And I thought today it would make perfect sense that we go out and try some Korean food. We will go to the same place, Wangjing Soho, and find a good restaurant and eat some Korean food. Let's go there. Here are some of the restaurants in this area. There are quite a few options available. So many pizzas, hot pot, noodles, ramen, Korean barbecue, fish and chips. Yeah, a lot of things. Let's take a look around. So we find a bunch of Korean places to eat and we're going to check the menu. We decided to eat in this restaurant. It's called Seoul 798. Let's go inside. We finished ordering and soon our food will be arriving. I want to show you around this decoration of this restaurant. The decoration is a mix of uh, Korean and the modern styles. Of course, the TV is playing some K-pop songs. There's this uh, Korean ancient dresses, which I think these days no one wear, only maybe some cosplayers. And I really like the small photo frames, which show some ancient pictures from Korea like some street market in Korea, some labor. So here they serve us some hot tea and uh, this is pickled radish and some kimchi. And this is the drink we ordered, it's from Korea. It's a strawberry milk, it's called Milkis strawberry and then there is something written on Korean which of course I don't know and soon I will try it. Oh, actually they wrote new feeling of soda beverage. It's kind of a surprise for me because I was expecting it to be a strawberry milk. Let's open it up. Hmm. You look around. This is actually a strawberry soda. Hmm. It's a very strong strawberry candy flavor. Just like a strawberry flavored candy. A little bit too sweet, but yeah, it's refreshing. The second drink we ordered is this pomegranate soda. And again, comes with these copper or bronze glasses. And I'm gonna give it a try also. The pomegranate soda. Let's try the soda. Mm, there's a little bit sourness. But I really don't get the pomegranate taste from it. It's, it's, it's fine. It's a bit sour. We're super hungry right now. Finally the food is here. So we ordered a Korean fried rice with the beef chunks and some Korean mayonnaise. There is uh, Korean fried chicken, which is one with the sauce, the other one just with the seasoning. And we have some French fries with Parmesan on top. So let's eat. So I took some rice. I'm gonna give it a try. So we'll take some chicken, mix it with some rice. So good. Chicken is crispy and juicy, and the rice is so flavorful. Okay. Right. With these chopsticks. Mm. Very hot. They're really tasty. See, it's juicy and it's crunchy also. It's very good. Next up, I want to try this seasoned Korean chicken with the sauce. I think it's the sweet and sour sauce. There are bits of peanuts on it. Looks very juicy and crispy. Mm, 
Mm. Also very good. I'm not a big fan of the sauce all over the chicken, but still it's very good. So this bite, I'm going to mix all the flavors. We take some chicken, we take a small fries, and we put some rice with the beef also. That's the perfect bite. Super nice. Let's take some cheese with the rice, a little bit more chicken. Mm, that's gonna be a big bite and a french fries. So now we have cheese rice, we have chicken, and the french fries. Mm. So good. Okay, baby, you tell me. I'm going to eat a little bit fried rice mm -hmm. and uh, some kimchi. Kimchi? Yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. a big fan of kimchi, but my wife really likes it. Yeah, mix them together. I love kimchi. My home also have kimchi. Why? Because there are a lot of Korean Chinese there. For those who doesn't know, this is kimchi, which is fermented cabbage with a bunch of Korean spices. And uh, my wife is telling me that her hometown has a lot of Korean, so everyone in her hometown also love to eat kimchi. Which chicken you like more? The Mm. One with the sauce or without sauce? With, with sauce. With sauce, oh. Yeah. I like the one without sauce more. Yeah. We finished the rice, but some chicken and some fries are left. So we're gonna pack them and take it with us. We finished eating. That was the place. And here is our packed food. And we're going back. After eating, we are back at home. I took a bath, changed my clothes, and now I'm all ready to sleep. I hope you liked today's video. If you like it, please subscribe my channel and like this video. Hope to see you soon in the next video.